So as soon as we stop giving people our money, let's see if they listen. Even a rig gang's fun to play, but uh, you're a revolutionary. What did you learn while filming The Banker? Um, financial independence is crucial and it's important. Um, we spend so much time being consumers. It's about time that we learn how to be inheritors of greatness, how we learn how to save our money, pool our money, so that we can get what we demand. Because people don't listen to bags, they don't listen to shots, they don't listen to screams, they listen to money. Yep. So as soon as we stop giving people our money, let's see if they listen. There are still more stories to be told. I learned to appreciate the women in the 60s. I learned to appreciate the way they dressed, the way they, you know, everything was so feminine. They, from the stockings to the bag, like things matched. I miss that. Like we, you're such a lady, and I think for me, like it wasn't so much that I learned that, but it was more of a reminder that we should never lose that. Because um, I'm such a jean and t-shirt girl, and like all the same, like too stressy for me. <laughs> but I know I have to do it just to not lose that. Let's 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 bring that back. Give me a damsel. That's right. Thank Never you. Never in distress, though. Never. It's time that someone shine a bright light in order for things to change. Are you starting to buy real estate in white-only neighborhoods? Keep one eye open. What if these guys were successful? I think we have to find ways in which that successful economic business, African-American businesses, work amongst themselves and help each other. I think float loans and find ways to do that. I think it has to be people that are totally into re really building the community and not extracting things from the community. That's a big difference. Think about all the good we can do for the community. Taking it to the man. That's exactly what we're going to do.